And there's a great there's a great book by Kip Thorne actually. We just mentioned him. He got the Nobel Prize last year for the gravitational waves. And he wrote a brilliant book. I think it's in the eighties called Black Holes and Time Warps, where he talks about the the answer is we don't fully know. But most physicists think that even if they existed, they would be unstable. And as soon as you even try to transmit information through them, send a bit of light through, then there would be this sort of feedback and they'd collapse. And, and ultimately, the reason we don't really know absolutely is because you need what's called a quantum theory of gravity. And we don't have one. So we don't have the theoretical tools to be absolutely sure that these things would be unstable or, or don't exist in nature. But we strongly suspect that they don't. If they did, you could build a time machine. So there's Stephen Hawking wrote a paper <laughs> called The Chronology Protection Conjecture. Um, and conjecture is the important word. So he, uh, the, the conjecture basically was that the laws of nature will be such that you can't have stable wormholes and you can't build time machines. Um, and if you send something through it, it would destabilize it. Yeah. And if it didn't destabilize it, how would your physical body deal with the stress of that well it doesn't have to be that you can you can build them that's called the tidal gravitational force so it's the difference in gravitational pull across your body which is one of the things that gets you if you fall into a black hole so before you actually get to the singularity you can get it's called spaghettified as a technical word <laughs> so you get and it's just like the moon's you know the tidal effects on the earth which are mm -hmm. quite small but they still raise tides on the oceans so that can be a if you think about something like a black hole, that can be a massive difference in gravitational pull from your head to your feet. And so it can stretch you out. And so, but you can, with wormholes, you, you, can, you can write the geometry down in Einstein's theory such that you could go through. So, uh, so you don't have to be destroyed or anything weird happen to you. Would you have to have some, something protecting you, some force? Some some sort of a you, know, you just literally you fall through. I mean, so so you know if they were if you, they would exist, you just you just go through. You, well, you sit in a little spaceship, but you 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 wouldn't. There's nothing inherently in them that says that you would be ripped apart or right. anything like that. 